guys blew up the last Godzilla video, almost doubling our like goal in under a week. So now it's time to get into part two of the series and present to you guys some more awesome Godzilla characters, if they were in fact Pokemon. And just to recap, this is what Pokemon would look like if they were inspired by Godzilla. And these specific Pokemon are all located on a remote region where you actually start with a regional variant of Larvitar. But if you want more on that, be sure to check out this video right up here because we're about to dive right into part two. So sit back, relax, get cozy, and welcome to Monster Island. The first Pokemon we'll be going over today is another regional variant line, and this one is Rhyhorn, the ground dragon type spike Pokemon. This creature is based on the Godzilla character, Anguirus, and just like its Cantonian counterpart, this Rhyhorn loves to camouflage itself in its surroundings. But instead of hiding behind giant boulders, this Rhyhorn buries itself beneath the ground and hides underneath the soil. It's also got some pretty good abilities like rock head and rough skin to complement its many spikes. But what I think is pretty cool is the fact that its hidden ability is Poison Touch, which is almost like a nod to Anguirus's own ability to create poisonous liquid from within its own body. As far as its stats, it's just a slightly faster version of the Cantonian form, and I for one love that it's also part dragon type. Gives me a ton of Garchomp vibes, and that makes me really excited to see what this Pokemon evolves into. Speaking of evolution, once you reach level 42, it evolves into Rhydon, the ground dragon type horns Pokemon. And I absolutely love this thing. It keeps Rhydon's face while also adding a ton more spiky horns to its design, which is very accurate in terms of its inspiration. And its color scheme is quite subtle, but the shiny variant is a 10 out of 10 for me, fam. That red-white color scheme screams shiny Incineroar, and I, for one, am a huge fan. As for its stats, it's pretty much the same as its Kanto form, but a bit faster and focused more on attack as well as defense. And now this is where things start to deviate from the script just a little bit. Instead of evolving into a variant of Rhyperior, this Rhydon evolves into a completely brand new Pokemon, but only under certain conditions. If Rhydon learns the move Dire Claw at level 55, it will then evolve into Rhyrus, the ground dragon type horns Pokemon. Now, now, before you start freaking out in the comments about the fact that this region variant learns an otherwise signature move, it's actually done on purpose. Because if you watch the first video of the series, you'll see that other regional variants can only evolve by learning what was otherwise known as signature moves for other Pokemon. And just like the Larvitar line, Rhydon only reaches its full potential once it learns the signature move Dire Claw at level 55. But regardless, this thing looks gorgeous. I would love to have a Rhyrus or two on my team, that's for sure. It learns moves like Earth Earthquake, Gungshot, Outrage, and its stats are a much stronger and faster counterpart to Rhyperior, so there isn't much to not love about it honestly. But what do you guys think? I think this regional variant is exactly what the region needs to spice things up a bit. But now we get to showcase some of the region's wonders, or in this case, absolute terrors. The next three Pokemon are the regional boss Titan Pokemon that you and your starter must defeat in order to bring peace and stability to the region. And these next three Pokemon are no no joke. Let's start things off with Barrigator, the dragon grass type hybrid Pokemon. This creature is based off the Godzilla character known as Biolante. And man oh man does this Pokemon make Arceus look like a baby. If you check out its stats, you'll notice that it's nowhere near Arceus with a base stat total of 600. However, what makes Barrigator and the other two truly devastating is their own unique signature abilities. You see, Barrigator is the only known Pokemon with the ability Rooted, and this ability is a game changer. Quite literally, with the ability rooted, the user can't switch out, however in return is granted a shield equal to 50% of its max HP. And while this shield is up, the user cannot take any damage from any type of moves. No weather effects, field effects, or even status afflictions. And the only way to remove this shield is to attack it with contact based moves. Truly a game changer. And with its massive HP, this Pokemon can take several Ice Beams to the face while recovering its health with moves like Synthesis and Giga Drain. Silver lining though, this effect can only work once. 
So once you remove the shield, there's no way for Bear Gator to recover it. Well, what do you guys think? Pretty scary boss fight, am I right? But let's just say you managed to defeat this Titan Pokemon. Well, now it's time to go up against Duraxigen, the dragon water type anaerobic Pokemon, who's based on the Godzilla character known as Destroya, the microorganism kaiju that destroys oxygen-rich environments. And for this Titan Pokemon, we made it a bit slow and gave it some decent bulk with a very offensive side. It knows moves like Ficious Rend, Outrage, Dual Wing Bee, and even Megahorn. But what makes this Titan unlike the rest is its own signature ability, Adaptive. This ability allows the user to always copy their opponent's type resistances, weaknesses, and immunities without losing its own typing. For example, if Duraxigen was going up against a Barrigator, it would also have the times 4 weakness to Ice type moves. However, Silver Lining is that Barrigator and many other Pokemon don't typically have moves moves that are super effective against their own weakness. And this ability procs every time there's a new Pokemon in front of Duraxigen. This unique element really requires strategy and careful planning because if you step into Duraxigen's cage without a plan, <laughs> well, you're as good as food for this Titan. But let's pretend you do get past this legendary beast. Well, then it's time for the final Titan boss to emerge, and that's none other than Raidora, the dragon electric type Hydra Pokemon based on the very famous Ghidorah character from Godzilla. This funny looking Pokemon has three heads just like Dodrio, however each of these heads are capable of using their own attacks from their own free will. And that leads us to this Pokemon's absolutely busted ability, Tri-Headed. A Pokemon with this ability can attack with three moves every single turn, however the only downside is each move has a reduction of 40% damage output and a reduction of 10% accuracy. This was the best way to balance this amazing ability, and caveat, most of the moves this Pokemon knows are moves with limited PP usage like Outrage, Thunder, and Sky Attack. Because of its unique ability, that means Redora tend to use up all their moves rather quickly and end up struggling in battle. But that almost never seems to be an issue because it's also known for decimating its enemies in a matter of seconds. Its stats also make it fast and hit quite hard, but its defenses are a bit lackluster, so if you can manage to stick it out and stall this Pokemon, well then you might just be able to conquer this legendary titan. And if you do, then you save the region, hooray! Except, oh no, plot twist, the professor is the big baddie, and was using you to harness the titan energy and create a new monstrous pokemon named Bladigan, the bug steel type cyborg pokemon. And this pokemon is based off Gigan, the character from the Godzillaverse, and its stats are pretty well rounded, with it being primarily focused on attack and defense. It does does learn moves like Giga Impact, First Impression, and Smart Strike. And it's also got the ability Download which can come in handy, as well as the hidden ability Sheer Force, which is a personal favorite of mine. But what really makes Bladigan truly amazing is that it's the first Pokemon on the island that is, wait for it, capable of Mega Evolving. Yup, that's right, introducing Mega Bladigan, the Dark Steel type Cyborg Pokemon. Its stats get a slight buff and its abilities get a switch around, meaning it kinda gets access to both so long as it mega evolves. But this is the final boss battle in order for you to truly save and protect the region. But what do you guys think? Do you like the cameo appearance of the old gimmick known as Mega Evolution? And do you think it might also make a return in future generations? Speaking of future generations, a video to look out for on the channel is our guest for future generational Pokemon gimmicks. So if you want more creative content, be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Check out this video next and see you soon. Bye.